Chicago Bulls star Lonzo Ball has recently come out and said that he will be missing the entirety of the 2023-24 NBA season due to an apparent leg injury that he suffered back in January of 2022. However, he would follow that up shortly by mentioning that he feels back on track and better than ever after receiving cartilage transplant in his left knee back in March. So why are we talking about Lonzo Ball in the middle of August when the NBA has like the least amount of news possible? Well, that's because during an appearance Monday morning on the From the Point by Trey Young podcast, uh, Lonzo Ball would appear on it and talk about what he's been up to for the last year and a half since, you know, not being in the NBA. And most of it has just been, you know, him recovering and trying to fight through this major injury. In fact, he would go on to say that when he first got hurt, we didn't really know what it was. I was seeing all types of different doctors and stuff, and I was just kind of going up and down. This was really hard for me because I just didn't know what the next day was going to be like. And that's absolutely terrible. I mean, he would also mention that at least now he's gotten the surgery and there's a plan and he's on track. So hopefully leave everything up to God and it'll be okay. Maybe he'll be good to go by the beginning of the 2024 NBA season, which at that point means he'll have only played what? One, 35 games into his Chicago Bulls contract. And by the time it's up, absolutely mind blowing. The Chicago Bulls kind of got, you know, screwed over with that deal. Most of the NBA world already kind of knew that Lonzo Ball was done for the upcoming season when on draft night, the Bulls vice president came out and said that, you know, the team didn't expect Ball to play at all that season. And Chicago was the number one seed in the Eastern Conference before Ball's injury. I mean, the season started off superbly when Lonzo Ball was on the team they were 27 and 13 before he had got injured and you know they spent most of the first half of the season atop of the Eastern Conference and the team has not been able to make up for his absence they ended up finishing 40 and 42 last season and losing in the playing tournament to Miami so last year they lose in the playing tournament to Miami were mediocre all year and the year before that they had, of course, made the playoffs because of that strong start with Lonzo Ball. But it didn't matter because come playoff time, he wasn't ready. They were going up against the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis was not going to slow down. Of course, he was going to show his dominance. And he, and went, along with Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton, took out this newly formed Chicago Bulls team in five games. Now, when Lonzo Ball joined the team, so did a guy like DeMar DeRozan and Nikola Vucevic. So those three guys all came together to join Zach Levine on the Chicago Bulls, along with a guy like, uh, I want to say, Alex Caruso came in a little bit later. But anyway, all four of them joined up to form somewhat of a super team, right? Not the craziest super team, more like all-star level, borderline all-stars, four borderline all-stars coming together to play on the team. And, you know, it looked pretty good. It looked promising. Again, they were 27 and 13. So, yeah, they might be four borderline all-stars, but when they were playing together, they looked superb. They looked out of this world. And I just wish we could have seen more of that over the last two or three seasons. And it just hasn't been true. I mean, he isn't the only one to suffer from injuries out of the four. I know a few others have missed a few games here and there. But nobody has missed as many games as Lonzo Ball. And he's been gone so long that I think it's fair to say that the team has no idea what Lonzo Ball will look like when he comes back. I mean, if this injury was serious enough to take him out of the NBA for two years, then it had to be brutal, had to have some kind of long-term effect on the guy. So maybe even when he does return, he won't be the same Lonzo Ball that was given a four-year, $80 million contract by the Chicago Bulls. I mean, if we look at his stats here, before he had gotten hurt in his first season with the Bulls, he was having a career year. I mean, you look at his shooting percentage and it was at an all-time high. His field goal percentage, 42%. His three-point percentage, again, 42%. And that was much higher than it was at the very beginning of his career. In fact, his three-point shooting in college was what had him going second overall to the Los Angeles Lakers, right? You know, his ability to shoot the basketball so well at such an high and efficient level is what made him such a good prospect. And then he entered the NBA and now those shooting numbers didn't look nearly as pretty. But by the time he made it to the Bulls, you know, he had got his confidence back and he was playing really well. I mean, he averaged 13 points. He had, what, 
five assists and five rebounds. Now those assist numbers are very important because when he was brought onto the Bulls, he was brought on not to be a scorer, but more of a facilitator of sorts. I mean, they already had guys like Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan who were going to be primarily ball dominant and score and get to the basket on their own. So they just needed a guy who would get them the ball. And that's what Lonzo Ball was brought there to do as the point guard. So his assist numbers, having five assists is pretty impressive. And his shooting numbers being up was just a plus for the Bulls at that point. That's what made this team so unstoppable before he got hurt. And if you go even further back, I want to say a year before that, in his second year with the New Orleans Pelicans, that was probably Lonzo Ball's best career year, statistically speaking. You know what I'm saying? I mean, during the 2020-21 NBA season with the New Orleans Pelicans, sure, Lonzo Ball had again got bit by the injury bug, only playing in about 55 games, but his points were at a home-time career high. Uh, he averaged almost 15 points, nearly six assists and nearly five rebounds that season with his shooting percentage going from 40 to 41 so not a big jump there overall from the field and his three-point percentage going from 37.5 to 37.8 right so again those numbers were taking little jumps every year and i mean the shooting was really solid when he was playing in new orleans both seasons he played in new orleans his shooting and got much better Maybe Lonzo Ball just needed to leave the bright lights of LA. I mean, he did play alongside LeBron James, so that does put a lot of pressure. Along with being picked second overall, I can see why the guy might not have had the best career in Los Angeles. I mean, he spent half his career in LA being constantly put into trade rumors and talked about, about how the team didn't want him there. They'd rather have a guy like Anthony Davis instead. And of course, that ends up becoming reality for him. So I know that was a lot to deal with in LA. Maybe that's why he struggled early on to his career. But I mean, all young players struggle. You don't really get good off the gate unless, you know, you're one of the few. Maybe like a LeBron James who was great, Carmelo Anthony, right? But Lonzo Ball wasn't that. He was a guy who was put bright lights onto him from a very young age. We heard about this guy since high school. Since his high school days in Chino Hills, we had been hearing about Lonzo Ball. And now to see him, what, six, seven years later, and he had lived up to, you know, a little bit of the hype, and his career was only looking brighter at 24 years old. It looked exciting to watch this man grow up, only for him to, you know, have a career-ending injury, essentially, at 24. It's just rough. Uh, I wish all the best for Lonzo. Hopefully, when he does make his return a year, a year and a half from now, it'll be all worth the wait, and, you know, the Chicago Bulls will get what they paid for. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I'll see you all later. Much love. Adios.